te pega el pao. Oh yeah, freaky, that's a freaky's ball. Y'all, oh, wait, <laughs> I forgot I had to mute that. Quiet over there, quiet over there. <laughs> I had to restart my browser on the other computer and it, it comes up playing that song. <laughs> anyway, hey, howdy, welcome to everybody out there in Freaker's Ball Land, reallibertymedia.com. How the hell y'all doing? Hopefully everybody's doing fine tonight on this Friday. March 20, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, <laughs> yeah, it's March 20, 2020, all right, um, so uh, welcome to everybody out there listening uh, to the Freakers Ball and all the various places you may be listening, tuned in from, and there are a lot of places you could be tuned in from, uh, hopefully you're right here on reallibertymedia.com on the Freakers Ball show page, but if not, and you still want to check out the video, feel free, head on over to Vaughn.Live slash Real Liberty Media, and uh, you'll be there on, on the video show page there, and, and you'll see all kinds of great, uh, well, you'll see the video. That's what you'll see. <laughs> also, welcome to all the people on freedomsnetwork.com, those of you on reallibertyorg those of you on rlmradio.xyz, or other places the audio stream goes out to, and I, I know it goes a lot of places. Uh, and, and so you're out there, and, and, you're, and you're tuned in, and you're thinking, what the hell is this guy talking about? Well, no, not really all that much. Just talking, you know. Um, <laughs> what I do at the beginning of the show. And uh, th then we get these calls. We get these phone calls from the other half. The other half of the Freaker's Ball. And she goes by the name of... The Moose Girl. The Mighty Moose Girl. That's her. All right. That is me. Yeah. So uh, welcome to everyone, uh, as I was saying. And... Uh, I see over there on the audio stream, we got people from Australia, people from uh, either Chicago or Kentucky, one of the two. We got Clinton, Arkansas. We know who that is, don't we? Yeah, we do. <laughs> In Windermere, Florida, we know who she is too. Yep. In Palm Harbor, Palm Harbor, Florida, I think that's an unmasked somebody else. All right, so that's all the, the people I see on the audio stream. But we got a ton of people over here in the chat here, so. Uh, yeah. Well, welcome to y'all, man. I see Rob Works. I see Dan Van Meter, Ensive, Vinny. I know Miss Kate here. Hansel J. Dredd is with us this evening. And uh, I think I saw Free Enslaved. And uh, Rob Works is chatting it up. And uh, oh, man, all kinds of people. Miss Kate, I mean, Miss Kate, yeah, all kinds of folks chatting it up. Asno's been chatting up a little bit with us. You know, it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's easy in a difficult situation. It's what? I said he's in a difficult situation. Yeah, definitely. He's you know uh, trying to sell his stuff there uh, on the U on the yep. uh, on the uh, what do you call it the uh, eBay. eBay. Yep. But, but nobody's buying shit. Nobody's buying anything. On the, no. On, on the eBay. So. And uh, that's kind of a shame. No, I'm, people are too busy buying toilet paper. Yeah. Uh, and can, worried about it. You yeah. Can, you can probably get toilet paper on eBay. I, I don't know. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> Shipped directly from Wuhan, China. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, what's going on out there in the world? Nothing, right? There's not, nothing exciting happening. No, no, nothing really is going yeah, on. I don't know what you're talking about. It's all boring and stuff out there, man. Oh, my God, it's insane. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely insane. Crazy. So, uh, like... I went grocery shopping tonight to festival, and that's the place, excuse me, it's the closest to my house. Uh-huh. So, I've been having really good luck there, though, because they do have good sales, and um, you can find some good deals there. And then, I mean, seriously, when I went to Walmart uh, Thursday, no, Wednesday, mm -hmm. I don't know, they were, they were out of a lot of stuff. No eggs at all. Wow. At Walmart, no eggs, no milk at all, hardly. Oh I wow. I had to buy the I had to buy the Great Value brand of milk. Nothing wrong with that. No, but comes from the same cows. I usually buy the. It's, it's probably RBG packaged. It's, it's probably all packaged in the same place. The probably, same, I, mean, I don't know, but yeah. But anyway, <laughs> um. Well, I, I haven't been to the grocery store since last Thursday, 
But uh, they had plenty of eggs, plenty of milk. Uh, they had toilet yeah. paper there. They had everything that, that I wanted. Um, I didn't look for everything. But well, I, that was last Thursday. That was last, that was a week ago. Yeah, a week ago. Yeah, that was before the weekend. <laughs> Yeah, there was a lot of there was a lot of unknown people in there, but other than, other than that, um, mm -hmm. know, I think being away from a city is 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 a bonus. It is, but I don't live in that big of a, an area either. Like it's not a major city, uh -huh. but it we got hit hard. Our stores got hit hard. Well, you got thirty, forty thousand people there, right? Sixty. Well, we include Eau Claire, Chippewa, Altoona. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, you're yeah. gonna, you're in a city. You're not, you're not in Moriarty where there's 1,800 no, people. No, no. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So people have to actually drive to get here if they want to, you know. Right. And, like, people from, and they'll stop at Edgewood first because Edgewood's got a Smith's and a Walmart. And right. As they're coming from Albuquerque, they're going to stop in Edgewood and, instead of coming here, which is great. Keep them Right. Uh, yeah. Even if they're coming from Santa Fe. um you know, Santa Fe runs out of stuff, so uh, a lot of those people wind up in Edgewood, too, depending on the road they take to get here. So Right. And, uh, you know, Moriarty Foods is just a little, you know, independent grocery store. Right, right. So. Uh, but, I mean, I, I'm surprised that I'm having better luck at festival than at Walmart. I mean, it's weird. Yeah, well, people don't th don't think to go to the, you know, the, the independents. Right, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I was shocked, though. There was no toilet paper. There was, like, one roll, like, way back in the back of the shelf. I could not reach it. I'm like, I'm not climbing up on top of this one. fucking shelf to get that goddamn toilet paper. I'm like, I got four <laughs> packs at home. Yeah. I don't need it right now. Yeah, you're, you know, you'll, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Four packs, that's, that's like, what, 100 rolls or something? They're the big packs, too, yeah. yeah They're so, not like the four roll. They're like 12 roll or whatever. Yeah, so even, even with three of you there, you know, you're fine. Right, yeah. yeah. But... And even at festival tonight, people were like, this is unreal. I can't believe how much stuff is sold out. I'm like, this isn't that bad, you guys. You know what I mean? <laughs> right, right. Like, I was able to find everything I needed today, so yeah. that was a good thing. And no one was wearing masks at festival. They did not have the six-foot lines put up. The convenience store, they have the, 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 these dots on the floor. Yeah, well, that's six corporate. Feet apart. That, that's a big corporate thing, though. Right, yeah, yeah, six feet apart. Yeah, it's a circle, you know, circle K or Seven Eleven or something. Uh, yeah, just a little convenience store, yeah. direct store or whatever. Yeah. But um, I I didn't go to Quick Trip, so I don't know if they have done the same thing. But they did not have that festival, and the the cashiers and everything were not wearing masks, were not wearing gloves at festival. So and, and they were all still alive, right? <laughs> they were. They were working. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I I talked. I called my friend out there in uh, uh -huh. San Diego last night. And she uh, she didn't even know. She she had no idea that there was a uh, uh, statewide stay at home order. Oh really? Oh wow! Yeah, of course it. How could just, you not know that if you lived there? Well, it, it had just happened a few hours before that. Oh, so oh okay, okay. Maybe, maybe she hadn't turned on a computer or something. Uh, right. So. Well, I today the governor shut down all hair salons and tattoo parlors, which to me that would have been those first. should have been the first things to yeah. shut down. Tattoo parlor, you're dealing with blood and stuff there. Right. It's like hello. Yeah. Why would you wait? You shut down the bars before you shut down a tattoo parlor. I, yeah, I don't know about I don't know about the hair thing, but whatever. Right. <laughs> I mean, hair salons. All right, I guess. <laughs> right. Um, but uh, also today, since California was the first to issue what they're calling a statewide stay-at-home order, which is martial law. It's martial yeah, law. Yeah, it is. There's it's no other way to look at it. It's martial law. Lockdown, yeah, you call is. it that if you want. It's martial law. Right. But yep. so, so today, uh, New York followed the whole state of New York. Yep, I now, saw that. Now, yep. Illinois was as well. Yep. And so I would, imagine, to me. I, would, I would imagine more of, well... Uh, your, your your state's a little different because you have uh you're you're more of the Republican end, right? No. No. I don't think so. I don't think so. Oh, I thought you had a Republican governor there. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I don't know what he is. I, I don't really care. <laughs> I, I know the last guy was Scott. 
Scott Walker as a douche. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I know he was. So he would have he would have probably said no to that. But uh, it seems like the uh, the Democrat states are are the ones that will slide in. So New Mexico may come up real quick here. <laughs> Cause, cause yeah, we, let's see what ears is. Because we got a major lefty uh, governor here. Oh, is he? I don't know what he is. Yeah, Vinny's pointing out that they say in the news 80% of the Californians will have it, which, uh, really, uh, how, how, do you, how do you even make a guess at something like that? I don't that? know about that, yeah. Uh, that, that, that's, a, that's a crazy thing to even guess. And especially considering there's, what, uh, 40 million people in California? Right. Right. So if 4% of those die, if 4% four, four, four of 80 million or of uh, 40 million and 4% of 80% of uh, that, that's a lot of dead people. <laughs> so um, <laughs> Hans is a toilet paper hoarder. 300, 300 rolls. <laughs> oh, wow. You're rich, dude. He has a whole, probably a whole room, just a toilet paper room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh man. <laughs> Thirty grit. Yeah. Oof. That'll clean you right up there, free. Oh yeah. That'll feel real good. <laughs> so, Monday, uh, Connecticut, eight p.m. What about it? Uh oh. What? What about it? Kate's saying Monday, eight p.m. Connecticut. What? Yeah, I don't know if they mean shutting down or... Oh, uh, for a stay-at-home order? There's, yeah. Most and why, most why would that. you wait till Monday if you're going to make the order? Because then people can stock up over the weekend. Well, you could still go to the grocery store. Right. Under a stay-at-home order. You're still allowed to go to the grocery store. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, they're... they're <laughs> <laughs> they don't. They don't want to starve people out. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, they call it a lockdown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah lockdown yeah. or stay-at-home order. Yeah, same difference, you know. Martial law. It is martial law. That's that's all you can. That's that. Don't that's matter it. what you fucking call it. That's it, man. It's martial law. Period. <laughs> They could try to take the sting out out of you know the words martial law by calling it lockdown or stay at home, but pfft, means the same fucking thing. I, I, I saw I saw a meme a meme today, uh, martial amp martial amplifier. Yeah. <laughs> it says on the front, "I am the law." <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> People botch that word so much. Oh, I know. It's funny. <laughs> they think it's like Marshall Dillon Law. Right, Marshall right. Dillon. That's exactly it's not. what they think. What? Yeah, that's exactly what. Oh, there you it go. It is. So uh, uh, M A R T I A L. Right. Marshall, like martial arts. Marshall yeah. Law. See. So so there's uh, I don't know if you got that right. I mean, uh, Rome's calculating the, the dead number of dead people in California. If eighty percent of them got it. Uh, okay. Uh, 1.28. I think it's double that, though. I think it's 8 million people living there. I, I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Either way, a lot of dead people, um, if if that was to come to pass. If, right. If the death rate remained where it is, which is around 4%. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's a lot of dead people. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. And, um... My kids are still uh, in denial. Yeah, yeah curfew is actually a level above the uh, stay-at-home order. Uh, yeah. Because it, cause it, it goes from the, the stay away from people. Curfew says you got to be in by a certain time. Stay at home means you got to be home all the time. Unless you're, you know, like I said, getting um, some groceries or something. Right. Oh, my God. This is just nuts. <laughs> This is crazy. I mean... What the hell is that? Barman? The number of creatures hanging out in my pail. Where did that come from? <laughs> Free. Huh? No, this barman. <laughs> oh, barman counts the number of creatures. Oh, okay. I see. <laughs> I was like, what is that trip? Barman, trip me out of here. All right. <laughs> Let's kick it off with some jams here. Wait, uh, how can that be? How, what, 12 a.m. to 5 p.m. lockdown? 
That makes no sense. 12 a.m. So noon. 12 a.m. Noon? No. Midnight. Oh, wait. 12 midnight to 5 p.m. That makes no sense. Maybe to 5 a.m. Yeah, that would be 12 hours. Then. Yeah. Over- midnight to 5 p.m. 12 a.m. would be, that would be all day. Yeah, yeah. And Kate says it's over 4% or on an upward trend. Is it? Oh, great. Well, great. It's, it's, it's been wonderful. climbing. It's been climbing, so, you know, I don't, I don't know. Right. I think that's just because more people have gotten tested. I don't know. Right, I right, because they weren't testing anybody. Now they're testing people. Right. And, and then they say, well, you can have it and not know it. Sure, be, you absolutely It's can. like, don't fucking tell me that. I, well, I, I don't have it. Well, I do not fucking have it I, right I, now. I, I, I also do not believe you have it, but you can have it and not know it, obviously, because it takes a while to uh, to, to settle in to your... Well, your, then you don't have it until it actually... You, no, but you're, you're already... Somebody, but you're already I con- get it. You're already contagious at that point. Oh, okay. So. I don't get it. It seems confusing. Yeah. All right, we're going to jam some tunes here. Okay. All right, we're going to kick it off with a Hansel request. All right. Although, um, we've played this song, I think, for the past few weeks. <laughs> Probably. And, and I, I hear it's again on the uh, on the top 40. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, okay, cool. After all these years, it's back to the top 40. <laughs> nice. The pandemic continues. <laughs> All right, that's except with pandemic. It's a two-year-old request that I requested when the song, uh, when I, when I, whatever. Uh, but the, the song is from 2011. Uh, but I, I requested the song a couple of years ago. Of course, at that point there was no pandemic. But it is a metal disease. Yes, except. Yes, indeed. Before that, we had a Kate request there. Stuck in quarantine tonight with the men in masks. Oh, doctors to the left of me, nurses to the right. Uh, and we kicked it off with a haunting request there. REM is the end of the world as we know it. But I feel fine. Yeah, yeah. So Can you it, break something? What now? Did you break something? No, why? Why'd you say that? You broke the radio. What are you talking about? That's what Vinny said. Broke the radio? Let me see here. No, it's streaming fine. Okay. Radio streaming That's just fine. That's what we're talking about then. Video video's streaming fine, audio streaming fine. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Maybe he must have broke something on his end. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but it... Okay. Oh, no, it sounded like some... Well, it was Except, Vinny. Except, um, not really a hair band, per se, but um, definitely a, an 80s metal band, so I guess it could be classified as a hair band. <laughs> uh, more more of an ACDC clone um, uh, than, than anything, you know, uh uh, I don't necessarily want to look at them as a hair band. I, well, I never have anyway. I guess they're a hair band. <laughs> I don't know. They have hair. Well, um, Udo doesn't have hair anymore, but that's a whole different thing. <laughs> uh, he's, he's the lead singer guy. Um. <laughs> they're trying to bring vaping back down again. Oh, yeah. Vaping is, is the cause of uh, corona. The, the young people, that's uh, why they get it, because uh, they're vaping. Yeah, va- vapors are the devil. Vapors yeah. are the devil! <laughs> so, they, you know, because remember when that whole vaping thing was like a big deal? Oh, yeah. And sure. that just died down completely? Yeah, well, yeah, they, that just gave them an excuse to pass a whole bunch of new laws to right. uh, restrict people's rights. Like they do. Like they like to do. <laughs> oh, it was the song that broke the radio. Yeah, oh, but, no, oh. but, but no, that's except man, except balls to the wall band, you know. Um <laughs> <laughs> Oh God. Let's see what we got here. Okay, let, let's wow. kick it off. Let's kick it off. Let's kick it off. Okay. With Alex Jones. All right. <laughs> <laughs> 
if we must. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I, 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 <laughs> Alex, you crazy mo- But he might be right. He may be right. He's okay. been he, he's been right in these situations before. Breaking breaking news. Okay. National Guard deploys to FedEx Field in Maryland. All right. The American government is preparing for something major. So, okay. apparently Alex Jones breaks down the footage of the National Guard setting up at FedEx Field, home of the NFL's Washington Redskins. Dozens of unmarked police vehicles, military vehicles, and military style are seen in the parking lot of the stadium, which is located just miles away from the nation's capital in Washington, D.C. The government, those evil bastards, the government is taking this very serious and is gearing up for something big, warns Alex Jones. Well, we said that last week, too, so... Oh, of course, but but it's Alex saying it now, so it's... Crazy. Right, okay. okay. Similarly, footage leaked online shows Dallas, Texas... Uh, K. Bailey Hutchinson Convention Center, the largest column free ex- column free exhibit hall. Is that a word? Is that a thing? Okay, the largest column free exhibit hall in the United States, filled with hospital beds in a scene reminiscent of the 1918 Spanish flu. By the way, the political correctness is so out of control that Wikipedia is considering changing, and I don't know how they know that, but Wikipedia is considering changing the name of the Spanish flu to the 1918 influenza pandemic to remove Spanish from it. A move, oh. like, a, a, move, a, a move likely inspired by the narrative that calls COVID-19 the Wuhan or Chinese virus is racist. You're racist calling it Chinese, so they oh, say, geez. or or Wuhan, which is anyway. Uh, so <laughs> um, take it for what it's worth, but uh, I I would not be surprised if any of this were accurate. Um, uh, you, you know, uh, right? Oh, me either. Uh, considering everything else they're doing, uh, for for them to to uh, deploy. Uh, the National Guard, wherever, um, seems like a right. highly, highly likely thing going on. I think that's going to happen. Yeah, yeah. And, and here's here's my my question on all this. And, uh huh. Okay, let's say that they do all this. They put the whole country in a stay-at-home martial law order. Locked out. Yep. Okay. Now, when the virus does eventually go away, whether it's uh huh. Two weeks, two months, or two years. Um, <laughs> do you think they're going to give up all that power that they've just taken? No, I thought about that the other day. I'm yeah. like, this is, yeah, well, this once, isn't good. Once they once they get all that power, once they get all that power, then uh, yeah. Yep. But, yes, Walmart well, is hiring 150,000 order followers. A lot of people are hiring a lot of people. A lot of yeah, big, they are. Big, big companies are hiring a lot of people. Your grocery stores, especially if you uh, uh, you want to go work at a grocery store, then this is a good time to do that. Um, but uh, this uh, this article here. Uh, I don't think those blue masks do shit though. You gotta have a filter on the mask, or it's not gonna do shit. Yeah, well, Vinny, Vinny's against got, this. I'm sorry, but. Those blue masks, those are a joke. Okay, they're a fucking joke. Uh, Vin, they don't Vin, work. Uh, Vin, Vinny, Vinny has the uh, filter. It's a, it's a coffee filter with a duct tape. Right, duct that tape. would work better than a blue mask. A coffee, a coffee filter. A coffee filter with duct tape around his head. That would work better <laughs> than those blue masks that they sell. Now this article. You gotta, you gotta have the painting one where they have the fucking filter on there, or you're just wasting your time. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. You need at least the N95. Yeah. Um, Otherwise, you're, it, it, you then you got people making their own making um, masks for healthcare workers at home. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? Okay, that's a smart move. I hope you're like sanitizing them when you get them from the people. Right. Yeah, and you know they're reusing their masks. Um, yeah. And it's just like really. 
That, that's probably yeah. that's probably not the not the best move to be making. No. Anyway, this this next article gets a little bit more to the point. Uh, it's on uh, RT dot com Russia today. Mm-hmm. Uh, never, never let a good crisis go to waste. Right. U.S. lawmakers bask in coronavirus panic while quietly building the police state of their dreams. Right. Yep, yep. So it Don't says, let a good crisis go to waste. Absolutely. Police state time, boy. Woo-hoo. Yeah, those uh, certain people out there, they're, they're, they're just frothing at the mouth over this stuff. Oh, hell yeah. It says, as the coronavirus epidemic monopolizes the attention of the American people, government is taking the opportunity to sneak through all manner of restrictive legislation, including a law that could end the Internet as we know it. Killing the Internet to save children. The ominously named Earn It Act, short, uh, short for Eliminating Abusive and Rampant Neglect of Interactive Technologies Act. What the hell does all that mean? Um, that quietly debuted in the Senate earlier this month is a carefully crafted weapon for crushing encryption without explicitly banning industry professionals, uh, or industry professionals have warned. While this particular bill purports to be all about ending sexual exploit child sexual exploitation, the industry is concerned that it will make their business models unsustainable while doing nothing to protect children. So are independent media producers who fear their speech would be declared anathema? How do you say that word? What? Anathema? Anathema? I think that's how you say it. Uh, it would be declared okay. anathema. It would. You look that up. It would. It would. <laughs> it would in practice strip Section 230 legal immunity protection from liability for third-party content from any website that failed to comply with a set of quote best practices unquote imposed on a supposedly voluntary basis by a 19-member commission run by Attorney General. Bar. Great. Platforms that persist in encrypting messages, despite Bar's commission heavy handed, quote, recommendations, unquote, could be sued out of existence over user generated content, which they become liable for within 200, within, with Section 230 gone. This ingenious model keeps encryption itself legal, a crucial loophole for government agencies that rely on encrypted messaging to keep their own secrets, well, secret. Um, Earn It is a nosy government agency's wet dream, but it does more than just make encryption financially impossible. The open-ended notion of best practices leaves room for law enforcement agencies on the commission to draft far-reaching rules regarding what content can be transmitted over the platforms that they control. It's not mere speculation. Present at the Senate hearing was Vice President of National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, who called at online platforms to screen all content for abusive messages and to be held legally responsible for any offending content. Such a policy would incentivize preemptive banning of suspected problem users, that could be any of us, on a scale that makes YouTube's controversial decision to de-rank borderline content falling within but near the edge of its, of, of its rules to look positively permissive. Nothing or nor is anything in this bill to stop overzealous law enforcement from expanding the definition of abusive and actionable uh, speech to include political views outside of the mainstream. Indeed, similar outcomes have happened in Australia and New Zealand, whose governments also, uh, members of the U.S.-led Five Eyes Intelligence Consortium, Five Eyes, just think of that name, have also adopted laws severely restricting Internet freedom. So Lindsey Graham is the one that uh, put this thing out there, this piece of shit. Um, and uh, f with, along with a Democrat, Richard Blumenthal, uh, one of Beatles' boys there, 
Uh, with 52 years in government between them, the pair have weathered enough crisis to know that peak coronavirus hysteria is the ideal time to introduce their noxious bill. The civil liberties advocates who normally surface to oppose such draconian legislation are preoccupied with panic buying toilet paper or watching the growing sea of red ink pooling in their stock portfolios. Even the EFF, Electronic Frontier Foundation, whose bread and butter is opposing laws like Earn It, only rolled out its own warning last week, or a week after Graham had unveiled the measure uh, in the Senate. So uh, a crisis of opportunity is what this is. Uh, they, they never let a good, never, never let a good crisis go to waste, man. Uh, this, 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 this is nasty stuff that they're doing. They don't want anything in yeah. Clinton. Now, they, that would that would eliminate a lot of stuff like like wire, for example. It would eliminate wire uh, because wire is encrypted end to end conversations. Yeah. And, and NSA doesn't get to listen to us unless they unless they're listening to the show. Which hi guys. Um, <laughs> so, but yeah, all, hello all, out there. Yeah, all, all kinds of various stuff. It would probably you know be the end of VPNs. Yeah, you know, it, they don't want they don't they want to know everything that everybody's doing at every minute of the day, and uh, they 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 can't do that if you're all encrypted. So uh, this, right, this is this is a big thing, but it's under it's under the radar, man. It's it's because everything is under the radar. All the shit they're doing right now that you don't get to hear about because coronavirus is everywhere. They're doing a lot yeah. of really really bad stuff uh, back there. Um, uh, the uh, the uh, the uh, Patriot Act uh, re re upper thing they they didn't yeah. actually vote on re upping the Patriot Act but they uh, extended it I think it was Trump through an executive order extended it for like ninety days or something um, to give them time to re up it after the coronavirus thing but uh, that Patriot Act that really needs to go away yeah it does so big uh, time yeah man. <laughs> oh, here was another good one. <laughs> Which <laughs> I've never been to Baltimore. Have you? Um, no. <laughs> I don't want to go to Baltimore ever. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> but I found this interest humorous. Let's go that way on blacklistednews.com. <laughs> okay. Baltim Baltimore mayor. Begs residents to stop shooting each other so hospital beds can be used for coronavirus patients. <laughs> Quit killing each other. <laughs> <laughs> From CBS Baltimore, uh, Baltimore Mayor Jack Young urged residents to put down their guns and heed orders to stay home after multiple people were shot Tuesday night amidst the coronavirus pandemic. Young said hospital beds are needed to treat positive COVID-19 patients and not for senseless violence. Seven people were shot Tuesday night in the Madison Park neighborhood as Baltimore reported its fifth positive coronavirus case. Sounds to me like you need more for the gunshot people than the coronavirus people. Uh, and if you only got 12 beds there, I think that's a, that's a different problem all, all to yourself, but... Uh, Whatever. Says I want to reiterate how completely unacceptable the level of violence is that we have seen recently. Young said, "You've been seeing it for decades. What do you mean recently? Uh, uh, we will not stand. Yeah. We will not stand for mass shootings and an increase in crime." Well, I don't think it's an increase. I think you guys have been violent out there for as long as I can remember. Uh, you guys are just a violent town. You're a violent city, violent area. Uh, yeah. All, all of that whole Greater DC area, man. Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> you got you violent motherfuckers. All right, for those of you who want to continue to shoot and kill people uh, of, of this city, we're not going to tolerate it. Oh, what's going to change now after all these years? Uh, young implored, we're going to come after you. Are you really? And we're not going, or we're going to get you. Yeah, sure. I'm sure they're shaking and they're, and he urged people to put down their guns because. We cannot clog up our hospitals in their beds with people being shot senselessly. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> I don't know. I just found it humorous. <laughs> Quit shooting people. 
<laughs> and that's probably a prelude to a gun confiscation. Uh, I'm assuming something like that out there. Yeah. Wow. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. I think oh, okay. Right. Yeah, so I lost you. No. Okay. <laughs> wow. Well. So here's a good thing, though. Mm-hmm. If if you're a, like a churchgoer. Okay. If you're but a, I'm not. But <laughs> you know, especially if you're Catholic, you know, uh, you will be absolved, absolved, absolved of all sin. If you get all the, right, good. If, if you get the coronavirus and die from it, <laughs> what? Yes, <laughs> church forgives sins. Church forgives sins of those stricken by the virus. The Catholic Church on Friday granted forgiveness under certain conditions for the sins of the faithful struck by the coronavirus. Um, the decree published by the Vatican also covers health care workers and those who pray. Oh, all you got to do is pray. Oh, so Okay. If you, yeah, That's so it. if you just pray for those with the virus and the health care workers and you're Catholic, and you, then, then you will be absolved and you can go to heaven. It's your free ticket to heaven, buddies. It's your free ticket to heaven by praying for, the, for those. <laughs> For those of, uh, yeah, relatives who care for their sick members may also be forgiven. May also be forgiven. Not necessarily. I mean, you know, if you if you uh, had a relative and you were Catholic and and and, and you cared for that that family member, you you could be forgiven. Yeah. The conditions include the sick saying a certain number of prayers. You got to do a certain number. There's a strict guideline here to get into heaven. Or following important celebrations from a distance via the Internet, I would assume. Uh, those who pray for the caregiver's well-being must also read the Bible for at least a half an hour. Now, it doesn't say a half an hour a day here. It just says a half an hour. Now, I'm sure that most people who have read the Bible at least a half an hour in their lifetime. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay, the, 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 the decree was issued one day after Italy overtook China for the most number of deaths from the new illness. Uh, the pandemic has killed more than 3,400 people in the Mediterranean country. Uh, Vatican City itself has confirmed one infection. Pope Francis was, was reported to have been tested for the <laughs> virus as a precaution after coming down with a cold. It doesn't say what the result was. The Vatican has never confirmed or denied the report, but has stressed repeatedly that the 83-year-old pontiff does not have COVID-19. But they don't tell you the result of that test. So, If you want to get into heaven, if you want to get into heaven, read that Bible and, All pray, right. and pray pray for those those caregivers and, and your relatives and Follow follow these strict, there's a bullet list here. Well, there's not actually a bullet list. you got to kind of make it up as you go along through the thing there. But uh, So you, too, can get right on up into heaven. And uh, All right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> All right. Now, you, I know you posted a link um, just before the show. In there about a guy that turned one ventilator into nine. Yep. Okay. You still have that link? Yeah, I can get it. All right, all right. Okay, so this article and and people right here. All right, uh, this article here and people have probably heard about this already, but um, mm-hmm. it's from from the Guardian in the UK. But I, I think um, I think uh, Trump talked about it today during his. Oh, he he but Trump must be loving this shit, by the way. Oh, he uh, must. Oh, he's on TV every freaking day for like an hour at a yeah. time, uninterrupted. Oh, he is just screaming his jeans over this. Anyway, <laughs> Detroit automakers shut down plants, but workers may return to build ventilators. Now, some okay. of you, some of you may know that I worked at a at a company making that made ventilators mm-hmm. for thirteen years. I know all about making ventilators. I know all the stuff that's required to go into them. And it is no easy task to make a ventilator that works properly 
on a continuous basis. There's a lot of stuff. that It's not just a thing that pumps air into somebody's lungs. There's a lot of very careful uh, right. considerations and calculations and a lot of very special tooling and a lot of engineering that goes into these things that I guarantee, right. I guarantee you the, uh, the company that I work for, and other, I worked for another ventilator company after that for about four years, um, they are not just going to hand over the secrets to, their, to making their machines. Um, to, to some auto company. <laughs> I mean, maybe they will. I just don't see them doing it. There's a uh, maybe. The, maybe they'll give them for like the, the ones they made back in the '70s. All right, here's the design for that. You can make these ones that are all mechanical, and uh, there's there's very very little electronics in there, uh, except for a few control circuits. But uh, uh, there's all kinds of different stuff that goes into making those and making those work properly so that you don't damage the patient with the ventilator, because that's one of the primary things that happens. So uh, I am glad, I guess, somebody's out there saying we're going to go ahead and make these things, but uh, first up, it'll be a long ramp-up process uh, to get these things done and to get people trained on how to do all this. Uh, I, I'm not seeing it. it. It doesn't make any sense to me. Um, so anyway, they, they say that, you know, uh, I think he said, uh, General Motors, that was, was one that, uh, I think Trump called out today. Uh, but it says, uh, General Motors, Ford, Fiat, Chrysler, um, so the big three there, uh, would, would probably be, uh, uh, go ahead and, uh, using their blue collar employees to make these highly technical machines without, yeah. without, without the proper tooling. Um, and, and knowledge of how to do that. They don't have the engineer. Their engineers don't know crap about making a freaking ventilator. Right. <laughs> it's insane. It's an insane um, yeah. thing for, for them to even be thinking about. Um, but, you know, whatever. It's, it's their, uh, we'll, we'll see what happens coming out of that, but I I would be highly surprised if they... Some of the if if they do this, uh, that's a lot of their things. Don't go ahead and kill people, um, kill as many people as they're trying to save. Right. Uh, you got to control. It's it's such a tight thing, and, and, and you got to keep the the temperature of the air flowing through there uh, just right. And it's got to be humidified properly. And right. There's there's a there's a lot of stuff involved, um, and uh, so I, I don't know. I, I'm a little biased, I guess, working in that place for all those years and uh, uh -huh. do, doing failure analysis of those machines. Um, uh, everything, uh, the battery backup systems on those things have to work perfectly because the power right, is, everything. The, yeah. power, the power is not clean in hospitals. And, uh, and there's just so many things. Uh, the the alarm system, to, you know, to call in, uh, you know, somebody to come do something. When something goes wrong, it, it, there's a lot involved. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. So, uh, uh, good luck to them. Best of luck. Uh, if you get if you get stuck on one of these machines, let's hope it's one that's from the actual manufacturer, Puritan Bennett, um, right? And not one that comes out rolling off the Ford uh, car factory line, <laughs> right? <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, see, that's Musk. I, I could see Musk actually doing it. Um, yeah, I, I could under. Hey, he's he's a sharp fella, and and he knows a lot about things that that you're not getting in your car factories. Um, so I, I I could see him doing it and understanding what's involved. So uh, yeah. right. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> All right. So the one you posted in here: Canadian doctor turns one ventilator mm -hmm. into nine with some evil genius do-it-yourself mechanics. Wow. Evil With, genius. Is that what it says? That's what it says. Uh, winning fans, including <laughs> and winning fans, including oh, yeah. Elon Musk. So uh, Dr. Elaine Allen, I guess, Gauthier, yep. an, an anesthesiatist yep. at uh, Perth and Smith Falls District, Ontario, Canada, rigged one of the ventilators. He learned how to do it by watching YouTube videos. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh my God! Wow. <laughs> created by <laughs> created by two Detroit doctors in 2006. Gauthier's colleague uh, shared photos of the rigged ventilator on Twitter, jokingly calling me an evil genius. Um, so that's where that came from. 
the the tweet has been oh, okay. the the tweet has been liked more than sixty three thousand times and was commented by many, including billionaire Elon Musk. Uh, hospitals are trying to find out how to work around their shortage of medical equipment, such as ventilators. So uh, let's see. Does it say how he did it here? All right, do it yourself. Um, I don't know if he's like daisy chaining him or what. I can't tell from these pictures. But uh, he's, he's got. It like looks a, like the one unit can have more than one. Uh, you know what I mean? The one ventilator unit, instead of just having one tube coming out, it can have several. Yeah, well. That, that doesn't seem. That's not. I don't gonna, know. That, that's not going to work. No. No, I mean each each patient each patient uh, needs to have a certain volume, uh, right? Uh, put in there, and it control it only controls the volume for for what it's designed for. Um, I mean, you, certainly, I but and and then all that air, like if this one guy was kind of sick and the other one was not really sick, but he was on that thing. I, I don't know. It just it, it it it's I don't I don't see how this is going to work, but. Uh, the one guy commented and says, it says in the article that patients have to be very similar for this to work. Yeah, you would have to be similar in size and lung function. Lung, right. Lung capacity. Which would be hard to match people up. And and still, it's only going to pump. I mean, it, it only has so much capacity uh, right. to, to pump per breath, you know. Um, and, and then... Uh, there's there's a, a thing about breaths, you know. You you have your intake rate, and your hold time, and then your exhale rate. Right. And and, and those are done with various ramps. Uh, mm -hmm. Sign not not square waves, not sine waves really. Um, uh, so I, I mean, so people would have to be basically exactly the same, and they'd have to be smaller people uh, because a larger person's obviously going to require. Uh, the capacity of, uh, of the ventilator, right. the total capacity of the ventilator. Uh, but again, yeah. um, I applaud him for his efforts and good luck uh, to all these people that are trying to do these things. I, 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 very skeptical. Yeah. Very, very skeptical on all this, but uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, we're gonna play some more music. Look. All right, let's do that. Well, you had a question. No, no, I was just going to make a comment. No biggie. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. It's our good old buddy, Weird Al. All right. I like Weird Al. Love Weird Al. Ah, nice song there. Yes, indeed. He traveled by Turtles. Midnight on the interstate. Um <laughs> Yeah, that's a Moose Girl request for sure. You can know that one. Uh, before that, we had Charlie Parr covering R.L. Burnside's Wish I Was in Heaven sitting down. And that's good news for y'all. If you uh, just follow the church's directions, you could be right on up there in heaven sitting down. Uh, kicked it off there with uh, Weird Al Yankovic doing his song, Germs. Um, <laughs> which, uh, if you didn't catch all the lyrics to that, you might want to look it up. There on the YouTube's uh, uh, Weird Al Yankovic germ. Yeah, he's he's great. Ah, oh, it was just uh, classic, classic stuff. So uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, I tell you, <laughs> great stuff there. So boy, yeah, it's insane. I I'm just kind of like, okay, I what's going to happen next? I yet. Yeah. Who knows, man? Who knows? Um, it's a... Uh, I don't know, man. It's, 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 all, it's all messed up. Everything's messed up. Yeah, um, it is. Which is uh, kind of okay. I mean, I, I, I've i been looking forward to this, so... Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, it, this is not exactly what I thought, and I was kind of no. hoping at least for some some aliens or zombies. That could be coming. You never know. Or some zombies or... Uh, it's just starting out. You never know. I know, man. It's 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 crazy. <laughs> Closing Vegas. Now that's probably a good thing. Yeah, Vegas is a dirty little town. Yeah. <laughs> Who needs it? <laughs> Who needs it? Yeah. 
Exactly. <laughs> Boy. All right. <laughs> yeah, I, I, it's just crazy. <laughs> it, it is. It really is. I mean, I'm at the point where I'm going to the grocery store. It's like everything that I touch, I feel like I have to use hand sanitizer right away. Well, if you're, like, using, if you're using some of those gloves, you'd be all right. Yeah, I don't know. It, the gloves, you know, you get it on your hand, on your glove, and you put your hand in your purse. I mean. Well, there you go. Just say it. I, uh, san- you san- know, I feel like I have to wipe everything down. Yeah, sanitize all those items when you get home. With what? With uh, bleach, I guess. I don't know. Bleach on my leather purse? I don't, I, I, I don't know. Uh, something. I guess I stopped using my leather purse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I, I don't know. It's, it makes you weird. It weirds you out. It weirds you out. That's all I'm saying. Like, I'm going to the ATM, and I brought my, like, rubber gloves. Uh-huh. You know, they sell for, like, cleaning or whatever. Yeah. And I'm like, I am not doing this. Like, if I get the stuff on the, you know, the, the best way to do it is use disposable gloves. Right. If you're going to use gloves. Because as soon as you touch something that's got it on there, anything else you touch after that, it's going to get it on there. Just like with your hand. Sure. You touch it with your hand. Sure, sure. I mean, so, even with the gloves, you got to be really fucking germaphobic. I mean, you do. It, it, it's like, okay, I touched the ATM, I touched the gas pump, I touched the um, card reader at the fucking uh, grocery store, I touched cash, and then yeah. I put the cash back in my wallet. I mean, what are you supposed to do? <laughs> you know, I, I my don't. hands are killing me because I've been washing them so much and using so much hand sanitizer. It's ridiculous. <laughs> my hands are fucking killing me. And then this cold weather on top of it does not help at all. Right. Like, if it was warmer out, my hands wouldn't be such a, in such pain. But since it's still fucking winter here, no. You know, can't catch a break there either. No. I mean, bleach and alcohol. Right. It, it, you know, I could wipe it down with, like, wipes, but pretty soon, everything we own, it's going to have to be, like, wiped, wiped down and everything. All right. Well. I don't know. I mean, how much cleaning are you supposed to do here? I, I, mean, don't, I don't know, but just, 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 just think of it, just think of it like this, that if you do wind up getting, um, uh, did wind up getting... Uh, the, the, the deal, mm-hmm. um, you're, you're going to be fine uh, because you're you're strong, you're healthy, you're you're in good shape. Yeah. Um, so you're gonna be fine. even even if uh, something was to to occur, uh, you'd be all right. You'd okay. Be, you'd be all right. Not gonna would, but I mean, even the drive-through, like they're using. They're letting the restaurants, some of the restaurants stay open and use drive through service only. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm closer than six feet to that fucking cashier well, at the no, drive through window. You got you to hand them cash, right? Yeah, I handed them cash, and she handed me cash back, and I t- we, our hands touched. Yeah, and, and she but touched But she's her. wearing gloves, but still, <laughs> it's like... Yeah, are all, are all the people inside wearing gloves? Or? Yep, yep. So uh, before they shut it down, are they are they wearing? I, would, I they, went in there a couple of times. Everyone was wearing gloves. Are they are they wearing masks? Nope. So they're breathing on your food. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! And someone said, "Oh, if you get food from a fast food place, bring it home and put it in the microwave for ten seconds." <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> too, no one's gonna do that. That'll work. That'll no do one's going to fucking do that. If they're that germaphobic and worried about it, they're not going to go and get that food in the first place. Yeah. Well, I would recommend I mean, getting, I'd recommend against getting fast food at any time. Uh, right. <laughs> not, 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 nothing to do with Corona. Just, no, uh, I've been going to Culver's because they have soup there. Okay. Really good soup there. So I can actually eat that. Yeah. Make that shit at home. Um, 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, that's what I've been doing. I've been making a lot more reels at home than I ever before. Like, <laughs> seriously. Like, yeah. just not being able to eat everything. It's just like I can only eat certain things. So it's like, okay. Uh, I'm yeah. cooking more at home than ever. Uh, and, I, and I saw some meme, you know, uh, here we are three weeks into the coronavirus thing, and suddenly everybody's a Susie homemaker. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's true, though. I mean, okay. I made an awesome chili the other day. I made uh, my tuna noodle salad again, or dish, whatever you call it. Uh-huh. So, yeah. All right. Well, this is a... Uh, this here is a, a warning for those of you considering getting a flu shot. And I don't know what you would call it for those of you that already had the flu shot, but uh, okay, here it is. DisabledVeterans.org. Flu vaccine increases coronavirus risk 36%. Okay. This is a military study. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So a recent military study showed that military personnel evaluated who received the flu vaccine. Uh, personnel that uh, received the flu vaccine were at a 36% increased risk for coronavirus with varied benefit in preventing some strains of the flu. Uh, examining non-influenza viruses specifically, the odds of both coronavirus and human meta pneumonia virus. Uh, in vaccinated individuals were significantly higher when compared to unvaccinated individuals. The flu vaccine studied uh, demonstrated varied benefit in flu prevention, some strains showing significant benefit, while others did not. Uh, <clears throat> titled Influenza Vaccination and Respiratory Virus Interference, Interference, you got that? Among Depart Def De Department of Defense personnel, during the 2017-2018 influenza season, the report studied influenza vaccination and respiratory virus interference. Your, the, 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 the vaccine is interfering uh, with, with your natural uh, processes of preventing yourself from getting various diseases. Paraphrasing, the study highlights the value of the human body's ability to fight against viruses. Apparently, by contracting influenza, the body naturally may reduce the risk of non-influenza respiratory viruses. But if you got it, you are at a 36% increase of getting the respiratory viruses, <laughs> such as corona. Due to the flu's vaccine interference with the naturally occurring biological process, there may be an increased risk of contracting non-influenza viruses. While influenza vaccinations offer protection against some flu strains, natural influenza infection may reduce the risk of non-influenza respiratory viruses by providing temporary non-specific immunity against those viruses. On the other hand, recently published studies have described the phenomenon of vaccine-associated virus interference that is, vaccinated individuals may be at increased risk for other respiratory viruses because they do not receive the nonspecific immunity associated with a natural infection. There's a lot more to the article that you can read if you desire, but bear that in mind. If you are thinking of getting a flu vaccine, don't! At least, at least not during this crap. Um... Because this is not flu related, and uh, your your right. and and the vaccine is going to interfere with your body's natural processes, ability to fight the shit off. Um, and if you already had a flu vaccine, I don't know, wrap yourself in plastic. I, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> right. <laughs> We've been telling you here for years. Don't get that vaccine. Don't get it. Don't right. get it. So if you did, yeah, we can't help you. Um, <laughs> I don't know what to say. No. Okay. So keep getting that shot. Okay. From blogs.quickheal.com. Mm -hmm. Fake, fake coronavirus tracking app exploiting our fear in vulnerable social situations. 
So, as the coronavirus spreads across countries, creating fear across the globe, everybody wants to stay on top of any information related to it, wanting to remain safe and away from infected people. Malware authors are also taking advantage of the situation. Previously on the Android Play Store, is that what it's called? Google Play Store, yeah. Uh, there, there may... Or there were many applications present which claimed they could provide coronavirus tracking information. But Google has set up some rules for these types of applications and have considered these under the sensitive events category. According to the policies from this rule, Google proactively removed many applications from the Play Store to stop malware authors taking advantage of the situation. But malware authors have used another way to enter the user's phone, they are using their the, their sites to publish malicious apps developed by the hackers themselves. There's a website named coronavirusapp.site on this site. Uh, Android application is hosted, which claims to get real-time info about coronavirus patients. The application claims that it will give you notification if the coronavirus patient, patient is present in your vicinity. Um, in reality, the app is ransomware. It locks your phone, your Android device, and asks for a ransom. After after launch, this application uh, asks to ignore battery optimization so it can run in the background. Uh, after getting this permission, it starts a malicious activity where it asks for accessibility permission. Accessibility was introduced to Android to assist physically impaired users. Uh, anyway... Um, Great. Don't download these apps <laughs> unless you want your phone locked up hard, because uh, it's it's not it's not gonna give you the real right. in, it's not gonna give you the real information, and it's uh, it's gonna steal all your data off your phone. And <laughs> yeah, exactly. Kate posted this here. I'll say I'll save this image for the uh, for the blog post. <laughs> okay. It's a, it's a meme. It says so. Let me get this straight. America locked up its citizens and then let all the criminals out of jail. <laughs> yes, that's exactly yeah. what they that's exactly what they did. Um <laughs> and that's because of the uh uh prisons for profit. There's no profit in, in trying to take care of sick uh, sick inmates. Oh, but if they, we can let them out because of a sickness, maybe they shouldn't have been in there in the first place, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh god all right. <laughs> all right so uh do you stream video are you streaming video do you got do you got amazon prime do you got netflix of course do you, i do do you use youtube of course are, are any of these sound familiar and i saw of course a bunch, i do i saw <laughs> several times today on the youtube uh where it came up when I first uh, tried to load a video, it said, error occurred, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then I had to reload the video. It was, it was on various videos, not on all yeah. on, on yep. one video. Uh, I've had that too. Yeah, today, several times today. Uh, oh, okay. And so apparently this is happening. Uh, so uh, anyway, on the guardian.com here, uh, Amazon Prime Video to slow streaming to fight broadband overload. <laughs> Great. Also, YouTube will lower stream quality to handle surge as people as people stay home. Uh, Amazon's Prime Video, the world's second largest streaming service, is set to join YouTube and Netflix in reducing the speed of its streams across Europe. It says Europe here. You can be sure it's going to happen here too. To make broadband networks uh, can make sure broadband networks can handle the surge in usage as millions are confined to their home. It is understood that the BBC is discussing whether to implement similar similar temporary measures for iPlayer, which I'm not familiar with that. Me either. Um, oh, uh, that's from, um, it's, it's, a, it's a common one that people have. Okay, which is the largest, I think. the largest UK audience of any streaming device, uh, along with Disney Plus, which launches across most of Western Europe and UK next week, or not, as the case may be. An Amazon Prime Video spokesman said that we support the need for careful management of telecom services 
to ensure that they could handle increased internet demand with so many people now at home full time due to COVID-19. Prime Video is working with local authorities and internet service providers where needed to help mitigate any network congestion, including in Europe where we've already begun the effort to reduce streaming bit rates while maintaining a quality streaming service. What, what, what is the A stand for? Quality streaming experience for our customers. YouTube, the world's largest free video service with 2.1 billion monthly users, has announced it, it is to reduce the quality of its streams across Europe, apparently they're doing it in the U.S. too, uh, to standard definition for a period of 30 days minimum. Uh, the agreement, which uh, follows a similar move by Netflix on Thursday, uh, comes after talks with uh, Theory, Theory, is that the person's name? Brayton, the European Commissioner for Industry. Millions of Europeans are adapting to social distancing uh, measures thanks to digital platforms helping them to telework, uh, e-learn, and entertain themselves. Uh, so, uh, yeah, telework. Hold that, hold that, hold that word in your brain. Telework for a moment, okay? Because it's coming up. <laughs> oh yeah, it's coming up right now. Um, <laughs> and 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 as has been pointed out many times, she's not the only one. Yeah, she's not the only one. Um, but here it is from the DailyBeast dot com. Okay. Uh, Senator Kelly Loeffler dumped millions in stock after coronavirus briefing. Yep. So this woman the, is the second senator who has gotten rid of their holdings right as the, or right before the stock market went bad. Uh, so yep. uh, the Senate's newest member sold off seven figures in the millions there worth of stock holdings in the days and weeks after a private all-senators meeting on the novel coronavirus that subsequently hammered U.S. equities. Loeffler reported first the sale of stock jointly owned by her and her husband on January 24th, which, as I've said before, nobody was talking about coronavirus on January 24th, except for us here, except for us. Us here at Freaker's Ball. The yeah. very day that her committee, the Senate Health Committee, hosted a private all-senators briefing from administration officials, including the CDC director and Anthony Fauci, who you see every day with Trump up there on stage talking yep. about the corona, the head of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases on the coronavirus. Appreciate today's briefing from the president top health officials on the novel corona, uh, out, out, coronavirus outbreak, she tweeted about the briefing at the time. The first transaction was a sale of stock of a company, Residio Technologies, valued between 50000 and 100000 The company's stock price has fallen more than half since then. The Dow Jones Industrial overall has shed approximately 10,000 points. Uh, I think that's more than that now. Uh, dropping yeah. about a third of its value. It was the first of 29 stock transactions that Loeffler and her husband made through mid-February. All of but two, which were sales. One of Loeffler's two purchases was a stock uh, worth between 100000 and 250000 in Citrix, a technology company that offers teleworking software, and, yeah. <laughs> and which has seen a small bump in stock prices. I'm sure it's going up now um, uh, per price. So she, they, hang on one second here. Yep. Sorry, I had, I had a coronavirus cough there. Um, so, uh, <laughs> so all, all these people knew back then. And right. they, the, all of these senators, everybody in the Senate, they knew all about this. Uh, the CDC, they knew all about this. This Anthony Fauci asshole knew all about this. The president, the Trumpster, knew all about this. And they yep. were saying, no, 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 don't worry about it. Don't worry about a thing. We'll tell you when when to when, when right. It, We'll tell you when it's time to freak out, and 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 freak out you will because you know why we're gonna shut everything down, and we're gonna right. we're gonna tell you everybody's infectious and don't go outside and stay away from people. Um, yeah, 
<laughs> well, it says here in this article, up North News, officials tried to warn Trump a pandemic was coming in January. He didn't listen. Right. Well, President Donald Trump received numerous reports and classified warnings from U.S. intelligence agencies in January and February about the immense danger of a coronavirus outbreak, while his administration failed to take action early on to slow the spread of the pandemic, reports the Washington Post. Yeah. Anyway, uh, that's from Up North News. Okay, good. WI.com. I, I, I'm glad it's not a Washington Post post. <laughs> the warnings from U.S. intelligence agencies did not suggest actions for the administration uh, to take to prevent an outbreak in the U.S., but they did, did describe an aggressive pandemic that would require immediate action in order to contain it. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, they drug their feet on this. Oh, they were, they were hiding it, trying to hide it, as best they yeah. could. Yeah. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. And then when it first started or whatever, like here, like a lot. Like, you know, last couple of weeks ago. Right. You know, everyone will have a mask. Everyone will have a test. It's like he, he didn't, and, he had no, that was not factual information at all. No. At all. No, you can't, you can't go out there and get a test. Anybody that wants to get we a test. We have plenty of masks. We have plenty of tests. He was just talking out of his ass. Oh, right. Yeah. He was trying to, he was trying to keep the uh, stock market from going berserk. And, right. Well, and it didn't work. That didn't work for shit. <laughs> no, he made it worse. Well, today that was the first you, time it took a dump. You, you, you could have seen it if you seen when he came on to talk today during his his deal, uh -huh. um, uh, where the stock market was until he got off of talking. The stock market dropped like five hundred points during his little speech. Um, <laughs> it was it was doing fine. It was <laughs> it, it was up like three hundred points, and then he gets on Imagine there that. and it drops a. Uh, and it, and it, and it uh, dropped down to minus 200. And then it went down and it went and dropped like 900 and something today, but whatever. Um, <laughs> it's because of all this bullshit. So anyway, speaking of the tests, if you really want one, there may be one available coming to you. Austin, this is on CBS mm -hmm. Austin, CBS Austin okay. Austin, Austin based company develops COVID-19 Home test kit. So the the Austin-based company Everly Well says it has developed a coronavirus home test kit. Everly Well says the kit will be available Monday, this coming Monday, but you'll only be able to get it if a doctor prescribes it. And since you're not just can't just go down to your doctor, um, <laughs> uh, but but how are they going to do it? Telehealth. Now, that woman that I just mentioned, uh, Kelly Loeffler, she also bought not just the telework, but the telehealth uh, companies. Uh, she knew exactly which companies to buy and which ones to sell after that meeting. So uh, you'll, you'll be able to, if a, you have to log into the telehealth thing and tell them your whole life story and uh, give them all your information and uh, right. do a telehealth thing. So if you log on to a telehealth thing and say, I think I, I, I can cough while you're on the air or talking to the doctor, then, then they'll prescribe one of these kits to you, these home test kits. Uh, the initial supply is 30,000 tests, but it will ramp up to 250,000 tests weekly, uh, and that could double if the FDA allows sputum and saliva. <laughs> God. Oh, God. <laughs> the company said, we've reached out to public health departments to offer them for free if possible. Yeah, for free if they're paid for by the government, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> which means paid for by you. Uh, right. So, uh, yeah. Man, oh, man, what a crazy-ass world we're living in. No uh, shit. Let me tell you. <laughs> Crazier by the day. Uh, this is a semi-non-coronavirus story. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I say that because, well, although it is about corona, mm -hmm. it's about something even worse. Or someone, I guess I should say. Okay. On WaterfordWhisperNews.com, where the hell do you find these sites? Um... <laughs> <laughs> Are you fucking happy now? Airlines asked Greta Thunberg. 
<laughs> Chiefs of the world leading airlines have angrily lashed out at the eco crusading teenager Greta Sunberg over her over COVID nineteen, which has seen flights grounded worldwide and billions saved off their stock value. Uh, although the world remains on grave alert about the fate of humanity, the fate of humanity. Over <laughs> over the coming few months, reports are coming in that fewer flights and less tourism has caused substantial increase in air quality in areas like China and Italy, which is in line with the arguments put forward by Sunberg at rallies around the globe. Uh, these are localized uh, increases. This is not a uh, any global thing by any stretch of the imagination. Um, uh, bosses stopped just shy of, act, of actually accusing the 17-year-old of releasing the coronavirus <laughs> to, de to decimate travel around the globe. But they did stress she's probably loving every minute of it. I'll bet she's delighted now, sitting at home in her hemp dress, getting her emails by carrier pigeon, said one furious airline chief while applying for a massive bailout from the government. This is just what happened. Uh, planes fell out of the sky. Well, congratulations, Greta. You've ruined our lives. If you'll excuse us, we have to get to work. Some of us have, we have, some of us have customers who need to be told they're not getting refunds anytime soon. Good day. Although, although sources close to Sunberg have denied that she is in fact happy about any aspect of the coronavirus, some suggest that when she heard about airlines, she's kind of, Smiled. <laughs> huh. Well. So, are you fucking happy now, Greta? Really? Are you happy now, you little thing that you are? <laughs> right. <laughs> wow. Oh, did I get the wrong one? What was it? Trump guide. How did, how did that one get in there? I don't know. <laughs> is, is, is there like another article? Oh, there is. There must have been. All right, how do I get how do I get the right one? Go Let back. Copy. Let's try it again here. Okay. Ah, <laughs> I, that's the right that's the right link. I don't know why it's giving you the wrong title, but that's the oh, okay. Yeah. There's huh. another story below that, and I guess it switched over to that. But that's oh, that, okay. that's that's the right link. Um, okay. <laughs> so <laughs> are you fucking happy, Greta? <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> she should be. She. Oh, I, I don't know. You can bet she is. You can, yeah. bet, you, you can bet she is. But uh, for the rest of us sitting at home and and uh, locked into our homes by the uh, what, what do they call it? Stay at home orders or quarantine yeah. orders or um, whatever various various uh, names that they give it. I give you this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is the Jedi went down to Tatooine. Uh, the devil went down to Georgia song. Uh, Jedi went down to Tatooine. By Funk Turkey. Funk Turkey. Uh, before that, we had Flirting with Disaster, Molly Hatchet. That was a free enslaved request. And we kicked it off there with Warren Zevon. And uh, what, what could be the anthem of this year? Splendid isolation. Moose girl hurt herself. What, what's going on, man? Woman? What's happening there, girl? Walked into the coffee table. <laughs> All right. All right, Moose. <laughs> oh, that, that'll leave a mark. That hurts. Yeah, did you cuss a bunch? Oh, wait, it's Moose girl. Of course she cussed a bunch. <laughs> Well, I hope you're all right. She's getting some ice there before she joins us back here. She walked into the damn coffee table. <laughs> That's no fun. That's no fun at all. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, I, I tell you, if I do that, you know, stub my toe or hit my shin against something like that, uh, yeah, 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 you can, you can hear it for a half a mile. <laughs> God damn it, we're gonna be jumping on rock. <laughs> 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 
video unavailable. Well, how's that possible? He just requ re requested that. All right, that video is unavailable. Um, oh, I, I don't know. Huh. All right, well, we'll take that one out. But, uh, yeah, Hans, whatever this uh, Long, Long John Baldry video requested, that is not available. At least it's not available to me for whatever reason. Uh, maybe it's available to you, but I do not get it here. So uh, I'm taking that right out of the list. Sorry, dude. Okay. What happened to audio? Did you lose audio? I uh, I should still have audio. Everything looks like it's kicking here. Check, check, check. Yeah, that's going. Uh, check the video stream. Yep, that's going. Everything's streaming. Uh, audio should be fine. Let me, let me tell them. Type them in the chat here. Audio should be fine. Uh, All right. Uh, yeah, everything should be good. Um, I, I don't know what to tell you if you're not getting audio. Because uh, it all looks good from this end. <sighs> all right. While Moose Girl is attending to her bruised shin. <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. There she is. All right. Oh, my God. Oh, God. So I'll have to ice it later because I can't hold the ice on it. Did, did you get the shin? Is that what you got? Yes, of oh, course. All right. The worst part, you know. I mean, good thing the table, like the corner's rounded. It's not pointed. Because if it was pointed, I'd be going to the hospital right now for stitches. Yeah, yeah, those hurt. I mean, man. I was wa I was walking in the living room. Uh huh. And it was dark in there, and the table was pulled out nor further than normal. Right. So I ran vain right into it, full force. Yeah. Yeah, that hurt. Okay. Well, glad to hear you got your audio back, Mike. I don't know what happened on your end or yeah. if it was something else on the stream, but it, I, I never saw anything here happen. So, uh, Well, Moose, just uh, smoke a joint. A I'll be okay. Smoke a bowl. You'll I'll be okay. Be I'm tough. Yeah, I'm tough. Well, I'll be all right. All right. Speaking of smoking a bowl. <laughs> okay. Cannabis. Let's all do that, by the way. Let's yeah. Do that. yeah. I'll, I'll wait till after the show. Uh, cannabis, <laughs> ca cannabisculture.com mm -hmm. calls for social distancing spark demand for online cannabis sales in Colorado. So uh, dispensaries say this trend could reshape how customers buy marijuana in the future. Americas can purchase pet supplies, medication, and even alcohol online. So why not weed? Uh, the thought, that thought is crossing many Coloradans' minds as they call for the general public to practice social distancing have spurred a trend in online shopping for cannabis projects. Product, products. <laughs> Sorry, I was thinking I was going to sneeze there. Uh, on March okay. 6th, on March 16th, Terrapin Care Station, is that... Terrapin Station? Yeah, you're familiar with that. Terrapin, yeah. Terrapin Care Station, which operates six dispensaries throughout the front range, saw an 1,800% increase in online sales over the same day. Uh, yeah, uh, I believe uh, it. Over the same day, a week prior. A week prior, so 1,800% in a week, according to the communications director, Peter Marcus. Historically, online ordering accounted for a fraction of the company's sales as consumers preferred to peruse cannabis selections in right. person. But now they know what they want, so they don't really need to. Well, now now, now the, there's the social distancing, so. Uh, right. Yeah, so they got to stay home because you yeah. know, there's sick bastards out there. Bunch of sick bastards out there. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, Moose Girl of the Bruceians. Yeah, that's the new band. Yeah, that's my, that's my band. <laughs> Uh, it's more than bruised, though. It, like, did a gouge thing, like a pressure wound or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, it took, a, it took some skin off of there, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, my, and it's bruised underneath. Yeah, it's, oh, that's going to leave a mark. That'll be bad in the morning. Yeah. That'll be bad in the morning. Well. Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah, you'll be Don't freak there. out, but you can get 50% off all menus. Hello? Stupid ad came up. Hello? Hello? Yes. What the heck? Some stupid ad came on. Hello? <laughs> yes. Are you there? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. <sighs> can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay. Some stupid ad came on. Messed with my stream there. 
Oh, sorry about that. That's well, what it's, not, it's not yours. It was on my end. No, but I had my volume turned way down, so I couldn't hear you. Oh, okay. Well, you, your volume was turned down right when the ad came so we, on, so... so we, we both did that at the same time. We both did a <laughs> fuck up at the same time, which, that's cool. <laughs> Neither one of us were aware that the other one fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> or you didn't really fuck up, but, you know. All right, so here you go. From I... Eyewitness News 13 out of... Okay. Where the hell is this out of? <laughs> I, I hate when these... these. Oh, I think it's out of Houston. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, they, they don't put the city where they're from. All right. Right. Uh, so anyway, it, it's abc13.com. Uh, and this applies to you. Okay. Guns and ammunition sales soar amid, yeah. coronav- amid coronavirus ba- panic buying. So uh, Kyle Harrison has worked at Top Gun in Houston for 25 years. As he looked at the store's busy ammunition shelves, mm-hmm. he told ABC 13, customers are buying everything. They're buying firearms and ammunitions and accessories. We're selling, no. we're selling some training and literally everything. Uh, Mark, a customer who bought his mom, who brought, not bought, brought his mom <laughs> to yep. shoot her brand new handgun at the range, left with wow. five boxes of ammo. It's the maximum Top Gun allows customers to buy these days. Mark did not want to offer his last name. He says ammunition was to replace what he shot at the range. But other buyers said, uh, he said, were panicked. Ammo, yeah. is, ammo is one of those commodities that everyone rushes to the store thinking you're not going to have available ever again. Uh, dispelling the rumor, Top Guns Harrison said his warehouse is well stocked and we've been in business for 25 years. We've gone through several, several rounds of panic buying, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. Usually gun and ammunition sales surge due to political campaigns, mass shootings, or storms. This appears different. According to the National Shooting Sports Foundation, a gun sales trade group, FBI gun purchase background checks were up 300% on Monday over the same day in 2019. The FBI would not verify the number, but background check data from February 2020 was up 36% over 2019. I believe that. Yeah. Um, A look at the last five years of background check data shows only one higher spike than the current one. That was the late 2015 during the height of the Clinton-Trump campaign, because everybody thought Clinton was going to win and get your guns before she wins. Right. Um, (laughs) While it appears obvious, the reason for the surge are hard to pin down among buyers. Phyllis Miller, a first-time gun buyer, like Moose Girl, was was at Top Gun Wednesday afternoon looking for a Smith & Wesson 380. The store sold three before she got there and was out of stock but ordered one for her. Meyer said she wanted a gun for protection for a long time. Asked why she picked today, she pr- blamed procrastination and admitted a little panic. Uh, yeah. the, the NRA told ABC in a statement, Our nation has been an, has seen an uptick in firearm and ammunition sales whenever people feel threatened. We're seeing it now because Americans know that during times like these, First responder resources, as if you could ever trust them in the first place, may be limited, and their safety is ultimately in their own hands. Uh, Acknowledging the uptick in sales, Chris Brown told the president of Brady United, formerly Brady uh, Campaign Against Gun Violence, uh, said in a press release, while it's understandable to seek what can feel like protection in times of upheaval, we must acknowledge the risks that bringing guns into the home poses. Oh, poor guy, Brady guy, and take all appropriate measures that mit- to mitigate the risk. At Top Gun, new gun sales sell with trigger locks, as has been the case for months. Most law enforcement agencies, enforcement agencies in the Houston area, yeah. will supply free gun locks to anyone who asks. Do you have a gun lock? I do not. Yours, yours did well, not. Well, one came with it. Your ears did not. Hey, Peppy! Woof, woof! No, um, it did. It, it it came with a lock. Oh, okay, great. Great. And, mo- and most have a, a, a safety on them anyway, so. Yeah. Yeah, so. Uh, anyway, um, now you had to get a background check, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
I, I, I always thought I knew that, I would pass it though. I mean, I'm like, I know, but okay. I th- but I thought, but I thought there was like two weeks for handgun. No, apparently not here. All right, JJ, have fun working there. Um, I mean, I went to the gun show. I checked out a bunch of guns. They said, well, it'll take like ten minutes to do the background check. Okay. I'm like, okay. All right, that's great. I I I, I thought there was a. Uh... That's there was a lot of people buying guns there. I mean, they, so when you buy the gun, they give you the case that it comes in and everything. Yeah. And they put this red dot on there, a sticker. Yeah. So that's like proof of purchase, you know. Yeah. Well, you got to. So when you can yeah. go out the door, they make sure you got that red sticker, and make sure you don't rip off anything. You but know? you got a receipt, right? Yeah, it, it, they put it in the, the box though, with the gun. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. So here's what but, your yeah. pre- here's what your president's doing. Okay. Who's the president? <laughs> Somebody's president. All right. Um, <laughs> Trump tells millennials they'll kill their grandparents if they keep partying. <laughs> oh, my God. When did he say that? <laughs> well, this, this article is from yesterday. So, oh, uh, God. <laughs> really? It's, Dude. Po- it's posted on metro.co.uk. So President Trump has warned millennials they're putting their grandparents' health at risk by partying during the coronavirus outbreak. Thousands of college students defied government warnings by descending on Miami for for spring break this week, and many other places as well, by the way, not just Miami. Uh, They were there in Tampa Bay as well, in Fort Lauderdale, and in Texas, down at South Padre, and... Oh, they were everywhere. They everywhere they normally go for spring break. They were all out there partying. They in big, were big old groups. They were in nightclubs. I saw videos of them in nightclubs. They're well, just they're like twenty one, dude. They're just packed packed in there, and they're sweating all over each other. Um, and, yep, partying <laughs> down, all close contact and shit. Yeah. They interviewed. They interviewed some of them, and they're, these kids are like twenty one, right? Or maybe even younger. I don't know. But I have 19-year-olds, so they're like a lot like my... Well, if we get the corona, we get it. I mean, we waited a long time to come on vacation down here in Miami, and we weren't going to cut it short because of this. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, all right. All right. Well, but in the meantime, though, all the bars and restaurants are closed. Like, the one girl's like, yeah, well, we're making night- the best of it, uh-huh. even though they've shut everything down. We're still making the best of it and having a good time as much as we can. These, these nightclubs were open. I saw they showed them. Oh, were they? Okay. Well, I, I don't know. I don't know what they. I don't know if they're bars or. A couple of days ago, they shut the beaches down. Maybe there were raves. I, I, yeah. Anyway, this so this was a couple of days um, ago. But, yeah. The government had warned people to limit social gatherings to no more than ten people, but right. scores, many more than scores, hundreds, right. thousands of millennials were seen populating South Beach with Trump himself joining in criticism of their behavior on Thursday. I hope they listen to what we have been saying over the last period of time, said Trump. We don't want them gathering and see them gathering on beaches. Uh, they're, they're feeling invincible, but they don't realize that they can be carrying lots of bad things home to grandma and grandpa and even their parents. Florida closed all beaches. Guilt night- trip much, dude? <laughs> Florida closed all beaches and nightclubs in an attempt to curb the annual gathering of the spring breakers, but thousands dismissed warnings from the health officials to party on the beach. If I get corona, I get corona, Brady Sluter, a student from Ohio, said at the end of the day. I'm not going to let it stop me from partying. Uh, Trump, <laughs> Trump, Trump was speaking at his daily briefing on Thursday, where he raised hope that malaria, <laughs> a malaria and arthritis drug already in circulation, was showing promising signs of treating COVID nineteen. Oh, I just Hi- found this really funny meme. Hydroxychloroquine uh, is it is an oh yeah yeah drug. they were talking about that and the the Fauci guy or whatever yeah he poo pooed that saying don't say it's a miracle wonder drug blah, 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 blah. it's like it's it works apparently somewhere yeah well I'm sure he's waiting for one of the companies he's invested in to, to, to re- yeah to release to the, make it to to release something awesome uh, sure <laughs> sure of course he is oh god but anyway this funny meme uh, let's see what we got 
Women now looking over at their boyfriends, wondering if that fool can hunt, make a fire, fight, etc. And now you are second guessing them skinny jeans. Well, you should have been never, never hooked up with a skinny <laughs> jean person in the first right, place. Exactly. <laughs> the hell are you doing hanging out with skinny jeans? Oh, sorry. Jeans? That was a, oh no, that's all right. Yeah, oh. I, I saw that earlier, Kate. I yeah. posted that in the chat too, just before the show. Let's let's talk about that. Thought. That's let's, no big deal. I don't care. People repost me. I don't give a shit. Yeah, anyway, let's, uh, let's talk yeah. About what? Let's, let's talk about Kate. Your yours and Kate's link. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> well, no, you finished your comments on the on the. No, it, it's I, it's funny though because people are now like looking at the like some people are my kids are now because they're like millennials, right? Well, your but, your, your link was no good. Oh shit! It's it's like oh my meme? meme. I guess whatever that link was. Oh sorry. Yeah, no good. I don't know why. Anyway, so if you're if you're a girl, okay. if you're a young girl out there or middle aged girl, whatever girl. Uh, and you're going out with a guy that wears skinny jeans, probably has a, <laughs> pro, pro, probably has a man bun, <laughs> wear, wearing sandals. <laughs> what are you doing? Why why would you even hook up with somebody like that? Something wrong with you women that that are going out with these little metrosexual dudes. <laughs> right. Well, that's the thing. People are like looking. I mean, some people that are like, hey, this could be. You know, a thing. We might have to change our ways here, you know, because they've seen yeah, what's up. happened at the grocery stores this week. Yeah, go get it. Go people get it. Are, people are like, shock. some people are really shocked about how fast the grocery store is cleared out. Yeah, I mean, you like, know, if, if you need to get a get a guy, get one that that's a guy. <laughs> a guy guy. <laughs> Yeah, a dude, dude. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, what's that? What's what's, what's one of those skinny jean bastards got to do if somebody comes up to quack you, over, crack you over the head? Yeah. Yeah, he's he's got to run and. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, you want you want so somebody with some 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 beef, some arms, some some right, <laughs> some size. Like he kick some ass. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you, you don't want a man bun wear. Uh, <laughs> no, avoid the man bun, people. Avoid it. Skinny jean bastards. Yeah. All right. Avoid the hipsters. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so here well, I here. don't mean hippie. I mean hipster. There's yeah, a big uh, difference. Huge, right? huge difference. Or, yes. uh, or hipster douchebags, as they're commonly called. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Avoid them. <laughs> so this article from the Daily Mail uh, here. Couple are furious when told they are not allowed to buy, to buy 552 cans of Mountain Dew due to coronavirus rationing at Kroger store in Kentucky. <laughs> Chloe, Chloe, were you trying to buy all, all these 23 <laughs> cases of Mountain Dew? <laughs> so a couple visiting supermarkets in Louisville, Kentucky. Oh, it's not it's not her town. On Tuesday, attempted to purchase 23 cases of Mountain Dew. Uh, the man reportedly shouted abuse at workers as he tried to buy a total of 552 cans of the soft drink, but was refused. The woman he was with stopped him from walking out with three boxes and slammed two of them to the cash register counter. <laughs> the couple, oh my gosh. the couple, desperate for their Mountain Dew fix. That stuff is nasty. Anyway, it's uh, not uh, good for you. <laughs> it doesn't taste. It tastes like metal. Uh, anyway, uh, so desperate for their Mountain Dew fix, ranted at workers who refused to let them stockpile 552 cans. Uh, the couple visited the Louisville, Kentucky Kroger supermarket this week and flew into a rage when workers informed them that they were not allowed to stockpile so much. Uh, they were they were filmed complaining to the employee yes. that they were purposely misinformed about being allowed to return and complete their purchase of 23 cans, 23 cases, a uh, whopping 552 cans. Oh my God! What is wrong? And you look at the—they got photos of these people. These are fat asses too. Yeah, they're, yeah. They probably need to cut down on some Mountain Dew. There. Yeah, you're better off without all that Mountain Dew, you know. Right. I'm surprised it wasn't Diet Mountain Dew. Actually, <laughs> she's a better dresser. Well, she's just wearing like sweats. Yeah. And a t-shirt. So I, I don't. I don't know. Um. I don't, I don't know if it's a... I guess that's a, that's a fine dresser. Fine, fine clothing there. He's got a fucking mohawk. 
<laughs> it's long and it's long, a long mohawk, a, like, a mohawk with a ponytail. Yeah, it's it looks ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, they're uh, yeah. Don't, they really yeah. wanted their Mountain Dew. Don't but, do but the Twenty three cases. That is a lot of cases. Twenty three cases. Yeah. Wow. Don't do the do, says SLC Mike, and I agree. Don't do that shit. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's hear Don't some more music. Me. Let's hear some more music here. <laughs> All right, it's a crazy. It's crazy. It's nuts. I don't know. There's no word to really describe it. It's kind of surreal, actually. It's, it is. In a it lot is. of ways, it's surreal. It's. Uh, but like, you know, is, it, is is that any crazier than people buying, you know, truckloads of toilet paper? Toilet paper, right? Yeah, it's, it's not. Like, oh my god! What the hell? How many asses are in your house? Right. Quit, quit eating. <laughs> quit eating, so you don't have to shit all the fucking time. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> All right, this is All a right. moose. This is a moose girl request here. Coronavirus March Madness 2020. <laughs> All right, that's, that's, there's a cowboy tech request. It's uh, called a, uh, a parody of uh, Country Boy Can Survive the Coronavirus Version. There by a guy named Jason Duncan. Uh, it's pretty good there, Cowboy Tech. Before that, Moose Girl Request there, Bill Withers. He knows sunshine. And before that, uh, the Grateful Dead, also a Moose Girl Request. Hell in a bucket. Yeah, we're going to hell in a bucket, but at least I'm enjoying the ride, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah, what else are you going to do, you know? I know, I know. What the hell else? Oh boy! <laughs> oh boy! Okay. So, anyway, um, I I I would ask if you like get plans for the weekend, but I don't. But, but, <laughs> but, but seriously, does anybody? Uh, no, there's nothing yeah. to do. You can't go to the movie. You can't get. You can't go to the bar. You can't go to a restaurant. Yeah, yeah. You can't gather with more than ten people. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's it's all fucked up, oh. man. It's all fucked up. And uh, thank you, government, for fucking everything up. Because yeah, thanks, man. Thanks, uh, yeah, yeah, thanks yeah, a lot, yeah, government. Yeah, you went way out of out of. Uh, I mean, this this shutting everything down stuff. Uh, uh, it's crazy. It is. It's, it's really crazy. What wow! Is that? What is that? What? That noise? I heard like a rumbling or growling or. I don't know. <clears throat> I'm not sure if it was maybe it was Jackson or something. No, he's not near me. Oh, okay. Weird. I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I don't know either. Uh, I heard something. Huh? Huh? huh. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway. Oh God. <laughs> so yeah. So yeah. Um. I did purchase that gun, and it's. I haven't done anything with it yet. I haven't. Um. Really. Uh. I'm just. I'm sorry. I was distracted for a second. I'll tell you in a minute why. But I haven't really done anything with it yet. I mean, everything's closed down. Everything's shut down. So I can't really do anything. You know. Yeah. I'm just glad that I have it, so I'm good with that for now. Right, right. I'm glad I was able to get it. The gun show was really fun. I had a blast. It was freaking packed there, and I'm glad I went on Saturday because by Sunday, that gun would have been sold that I got. Right. Because they were selling out. I mean, seriously, it was packed there. It was really packed. And there was really cool people there. All the vendors were really nice, really cool. I got five ounces of silver. Got the gun, got some bullets, not enough apparently. <laughs> um, got a, do a deer antler for Jackson. Okay. So yeah, it was fun. I had a blast. Cool. I thought, yeah, yeah, I was there probably two hours. Yeah. It was fun. Great. It, it feels. I mean, it, it. It's weird to say a gun show was fun. 
But the people there were really cool. Like even the cup, the people walking around purchasing or buying or looking, they were all really cool. You know what I mean? Everyone's yeah. really cool. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Like even though they're like a lot of some of the vendors had a lot of pro Trump stuff, I just ignored all that shit. I just ignored all the pro Trump stuff. You know what I mean? Yes, yeah, sure, sure, sure. I mean, I get it why they're all pro Trump, but I didn't. That that's not the reason I was there. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. Well, what, okay what, go ahead. What, no, go ahead. Tell me what you're going to talk about. Okay. So earlier this evening there was a, sh- a shooting in Eau Claire, and um, they're still shoot- searching for them. There was two suspects. Um, it was in an apartment building in Eau Claire. Like, and when I say apartment building, I don't mean like a big one, mm-hmm. but in the area that it is, there's a lot of multiple apartment type they all kind of look the same they're not really townhomes but they're kind of like that right but they're apartments you know and um so now they're going doing a sweep of the neighborhood and on the facebook thing where i'm keeping tabs on this the scanner page face the eau claire scanner page um I was listening to Skinner. I guess apparently a bunch of people were listening to Skinner tonight while this was going down because it was like 1,400 people were listening to the Skinner at one time. Okay. Which is unheard of in Eau Claire. Like, seriously, you know? Yeah. But now they're going, doing a sweep, and they put out they put out a thing to the neighborhood saying, don't be alarmed or whatever. <laughs> You know, we're looking for these guys. We're coming door to door, basically. I'm, sure, I'm thinking they're doing that. Yeah. So it's just crazy. Like, when it was going down, I'm like, this is Eau Claire. Right. I'm like, this is fucking Eau Claire. This should not fucking happen. <sighs> like, apparently there was kids present when it happened. Mm-hmm. And the guys were wearing all black and wearing masks. So I don't know if we don't know anything at this point. If it was like a random thing, right. or if it was someone that knew them, or if it was a domestic thing. But it doesn't sound like it was a domestic thing because they were dressed all in black and wearing masks. I mean, you know. It, okay. I don't know. It's 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 scary. It is scary. Yeah. Um, so they they haven't found them yet. Okay, well, they'll like, get them. This em. doesn't happen in Eau Claire. Like this, this is this does not happen in Eau Claire. Yeah, yeah. I understand. I mean, it has happened where cops have. I mean, it's not like it's perfect and nothing ever goes wrong here. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying this is. I just want to know more details. Oh, here it is. Here's the, from the Eau Claire Police Department. At approximately 8.40 p.m., the communication center received nine one, multiple 911 calls regarding shots being fired uh-huh. in the 4600 block of Capus Drive. Upon officer arrival, they located two victims that had sustained injuries consistent, consistent with a gunshot. One of the victims was transported to a local medical facility, which might mean the other one's dead. Yeah. I don't know. But the yeah. initial investigation has shown that two suspects had been at the residence and fled prior to officer arrival. They've been on the scene searching the neighborhood for the suspects. Uh, multiple public safety is our number one priority. We have made multi we have multiple officers still in the area area and are continuing to investigate. They asked the public to avoid the area. And then one guy who lives on that on that drive campus drive road. Yeah. He can't go home. They they told him to go get a hotel room or something. Jeez. Yeah, they told him to find a different place to stay tonight. <laughs> I mean. Yeah. I get it. They, you know what I mean? They kind of block it off. Yeah, sure, sure. I mean, but where it happened, if you go across the one road, which is kind of a busy street, it's kind of like a main drag, but there's like a golf course right there. Yeah. If they made it to that golf course and took off across that golf course, they would have been out of that area before the cops even fucking got there, you know? Right, right, right. I mean, they were searching that direct area where it happened, which I get it because the guys were on foot. Mm-hmm. But if they went and got into that golf course and just went straight east, they would be in a different t- part of town. 
You know what I mean? Yeah. Or who knows? Maybe there was a car waiting for him. Right. You know? Yeah. Huh. It's okay. crazy. I'm just saying, like, this is... I just, I just want to know more detail. I want to know if it was random or the, they knew the people. You know what I mean? Sure. Which I'm thinking it was probably not random, but you never know. You never know. You never know. These days. So, yeah, everyone's on high alert. The cops are all on high alert right now in Eau Claire here. Yeah. And I thought I heard a helicopter going, like, in the distance. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if they start looking for these guys with a helicopter. But, oh, like shit. I said, if they got into a vehicle, yeah, they yeah. could be anywhere now. Exactly. They could be in Minnesota by now. Yep, yep. I mean... Hopefully huh. the people, I mean, if they were wearing masks, who knows if they knew who they were, you right, know? Right. Okay, well, I, we, we got to Sorry, do, that uh, was I'm just crazy. That's all right. We got to do the last set here, but I want to close all out. All right. I want to give everybody this information. Um, if you have, uh, you know, if you're looking to do something while you're stuck at home, you might as well make use of it by taking some free... Ivy League courses. And, uh, there you go. So there it is. They've got thousands, so well, 495 it says here, but I know there's a lot more. Wow. Than that, uh, of uh, courses uh, from Harvard, from uh, all the various uh, Ivy League schools, um, and uh, Harvard, Brown, Columbia, Cordell, Dartmouth, uh, Penn, Princeton, and Yale. So wow. uh, you can go on there. You can take these free courses. They, they, they tell you, okay, five to ten hours a week, ten weeks long, for uh, poetry, uh, whatever. Uh, they've got all. They've got good stuff too. Uh, it's, it's not all the nonsense stuff. Algorithms, part one, six to twelve hours a week, six weeks long. You can learn algorithms. Uh, just all kinds of different stuff uh, that, that you can learn here. Um, nice uh, through that. So uh, the link will be in, in the in the blog, and there it is. Uh, they tell you how to become a data scientist, data camp right there. Uh, so all kinds of great stuff. Anyway, we got to do our last wow. set. Got to, got to do our last set here. Um, okay. Make a note of that. Check the blog tomorrow after I put it up, and uh, and, and you'll all be glad you did. So, uh, whoop, wrong one. This one. Okay. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> All right, folks, that was uh, the Southern Locals, is the name of that band, covering Black Pity there, so good stuff. Uh, before that, the infamous String Dusters, get it while you can, and you better do that, get it while you can, whatever it is, you never know. And before that, Larkin Poe, John the Revelator, a very good version of John the Revelator, too, even if it didn't really settle with Beetle too well. And we kicked it off there with a Hansel request, Weird Al Yankovic doing Germs and You. Now, earlier we had another uh, uh, Weird Al that was just called Germs, but uh, this was Germs and You. So <laughs> Seems to be a big subject lately, though. Oh, it certainly do. It certainly do. It's number one subject right now. Uh, germs. Yeah. Top, top, top of the thing. Yeah, so anyway, is. that's going to wrap it up for us. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in and uh, being yep. our being part of Real Liberty Media, being part of the chat, being part of the show, all of that. Yeah, thanks, everyone. And you all have yourselves a great weekend. Um, check the schedule on Real Liberty Media for all the shows coming up throughout the week. Uh, and we'll talk to you later. See you here next week for another edition of the Freakers Ball. You bet. Peace. Peace.